Okay, everyone, I think it's time that we start talking about this. If you did not know, this is absolutely accurate. Shout out to the Red Pill Awareness for uh, putting this up today. It says Tyson Foods fires, fi let go, out of here, don't work here no more, hardworking American employees and instead hires illegal immigrants. Did you hear that? When some of y'all have been saying your replacements are here and people have been saying that, this is exactly what they're talking about. And yet I want to hear from, let me rephrase that. I just want to hear from Sean, Ben, Lee Merritt, Tamika Mallory, Amanda Seals, uh, Umar, all these pros, Boyce, all these pros. When you want to carry on about Biden, we need Biden. He's doing the best. It's Biden, 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 Biden. And you see something like this, besides the fact, shout out to Big Hawk Yonkers. Uh, I don't know your whole name, hon. You know I got you, though. Shout out to him and Philly Dom that have been talking about this migrant situation, specifically to New York City for several months, if not year at this point. We've all been seeing it. We got to get back on this because this is out of effing control. And yet you still got these same pro blacks talking about hire by or vote for Biden, vote for Biden, vote for Biden. Yo, this is crazy. Remember when we looked at this initially and they kicked out veterans who were in a hotel. Remember that older white veteran dude that was in the wheelchair. He got, he was on the news. He got kicked out because they had to bring migrants in. That was in New York somewhere. This has gotten progressively worse since we started going over this stuff. And now it's coming to the work because in New York and shout out, listen, I'm gonna shout out everybody who has been on this type of time. Okay. Bunker TV was bringing to us directly as he filmed in NYC, the fact that they were getting money, $7,000, if I recall correctly, to get themselves scooters so that they could get around. They started doing like Uber Eats and DoorDash, like this easy stuff, but they started doing that. They were given uh, that, that uh, hotel. Then they started protesting when they said, it's time for you to move up out of the hotels. Do y'all not remember this? We got to get back to this. We have to get back to this because this is ridiculous and crazy. And the fact that these Negroes want to sit up here and say, yeah, just continue to do the same thing because you're not even thinking long term. You're thinking emotionally for right here, right damn now. Donald Trump, even though he did not build a wall, he did say he was supposed to build a wall and he did not do it. OK, let's not act like he didn't. But I do believe that he's not going to allow this mess like this to continue. I know he's not. Biden keeps saying that he's going to do something. When he going to do something, y'all? Tell me when he going to do something. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Uh, when everybody, every American is out on the street and we looking in the window at all of the illegal migrants in our houses, is that is that when we finally going to say um, enough is enough? Between crime and this migrant situation, but damn it, there is no way on God's green earth that I think that anybody is supposed to come before actual Americans, people in this daggone country, people who have worked, worked hard, paid taxes, are a part of this society, contribute by whatever means that they do. I ain't talking about criminals now. In order to be slapped in the daggone face to say that somebody who ain't been here for 15 daggone minutes can not only come in here and get a place to live, get food, get a debit card, get money, get transportation, get a job, and you already know that they have already been trying to get them to vote in New Damn York. Y'all know it. We saw it. I brought it to you. I'm trying to understand when everybody's going to be outraged. And I really want to understand when you Negroes is going to get it together and understand what the hell is going on while you're sitting up here talking about damn racism all the damn time. Y'all want to be up here cutting for damn Taraji and all these rich MFers. And then you're going to be outside on the street and they ain't going to do shit for you. Not a damn... Not a damn thing. Are they out here advocating for you? No. Instead, you got Amanda damn seals on daggone internet talking about the fact that she wasn't invited to damn ND. 
what is it in what is it oh what is the mess called NAACP awards Tyson Foods Perry, Iowa location fired more than 1,200 American workers. The company announced that it has partnered with a nonprofit refugee group, Tent Partnership for Refugees, hiring thousands of asylum seekers instead. Wow. The food company reportedly recently had a job fair in Iowa for immigrants to attend as American workers remain without paychecks. Tyson Foods also created a database of tens of thousands of illegal alien workers that they plan to replace American workers with, offering $16.50 an hour wages and free immigration lawyers. I know you effing lying. In this area of where I'm at, we have chicken farms or something, and it might be Tyson. I don't know. If you go to Delaware and you go down to Sussex County, down there, they have beaches, first of all. People from all over come and go down there to the beaches, right? But they have chicken farm places, things, child. It smells horrible down there, all right? But the people that work there are a lot of, I don't know if they're illegal, but they definitely not a non-American. I'll say that. I don't know if they're illegal, but you see them in their places, hotel looking ish places that they live. You know that they're going to live a much simpler, less expensive life. So then companies like this think that they can go ahead and pay them, you know, 1650 probably is wonderful to them. They're going to work. They're going to work hard because they don't want to go back to where it is that they come from. And then Tyson's out here making hand over fist because they don't have to pay as much, even though they provide lawyers, even though they're doing 1650 an hour. If people have worked here for a long time, they probably are paying a lot more. I tell you what, I wouldn't work there for no damn 1650. You have to smell that mess all day, half the damn night. I tell you what, but for those that choose to have worked there all this time, this is the things that you get. Y'all don't be beholden. I don't understand how many ways that I can say this type stuff. I do work in corporate America, but damn it, I don't be staying in the same place forever because they're not going to keep you forever. They're not going to keep you forever. The government is here for the most part, not to be giving you nothing, nothing. This is the point of most of the damn stories that I be telling y'all about with y'all begging for freaking food stamps and thinking that Biden's going to wipe away your damn loans. That's not how life works. Y'all just going to wait until the absolute last damn minute when you're absolutely toe in damn ground before you finally realize it. You got to get up there and do it for your damn self and having a bunch of damn kids that you cannot afford and you cannot take care of. It's not going to help your daggone situation. Everybody can't come to the party. I understand. This is why I don't have empathy and sympathy because the information is there. The history is there. Wow. I'm just, I'm, I, I, I don't know why I'm surprised about this, but I heard somebody talking about boycotting Tyson foods. If this ain't the time to take a damn stand and say, yeah, no more. We not go, we not going to be able to do it and actually boycott them. That's the only thing that a corporation, a company will understand. That is the only thing a corporation and a company will understand. So while I know Tyson does chicken off the top of my head, child, they probably do a ton of other things that I am not aware of. So if anybody knows anything that freaking Tyson is into, produces, is, is for sale or whatever, whatever the project is, I'm sorry, whatever their uh, product is, I meant, Write it in the comments, please, because we need to know what the hell it is that we're dealing with. I'm all for this. I'm telling you, you won't get a dime from me, Tyson. I'm going to tell you right now, I will never need to eat chicken again in my life. Understood? I don't ever have to eat chicken again in life. It's not like you need it to sustain your life, y'all. I'm being stereotypical right now, Negroes. We don't have to have chicken. There's plenty of other things that can be eaten. But anyway, y'all, please drop anything and everything that you know that Tyson is responsible for producing, no matter what. It could be a paper damn cup, as far as I'm concerned. Don't say that you didn't find out and you didn't know. This is absolutely insane. Shout out to y'all if you made it this far. Like the video, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you comment. I will see you all in the next one. Good night. Take a bed and go to sleep. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help.